ですね Freeze me. Freeze me. Oh, oh shit. I'm starting to feel old, man. You are old. Well, I'm not feeling old, but I'm. I definitely don't feel like I always used to my whole life. Guys, what's going on? Best Buy, Atlanta. We had a lot of fun going there and spent a lot of money. Um, hopefully the next couple videos that I release will, will be entertaining. Um, basically what I did is I just kind of walked around this Best Buy. This Best Buy was absolutely huge. Um, it's in Sandy Springs, which is right outside Atlanta. And it's uh, North Perimeter, which was the like the area that we were in. Uh, but this Best Buy had such a huge selection in gaming monitors. I was just so surprised on the sheer amount of selection of gaming monitors. They literally had them stacked up, um, different you know different models of stuff stacked up in in the aisles, um, and then along the top parts of the back walls they would have all these different types of gaming computers um of course you know they're they're all oem or manufactured you know by like dell or omen or i buy power or whoever um was making that computer and they just had a whole back wall full of them um at first when i got here i was looking at this and i was like wow they really don't have crap and then I turned the corner here, and I was like, oh, okay, well, they, they got an iBuy Power. That's cool. Uh, you know, Omen PCs, those are cool too, whatever. Let's, um, let's, let's, I was just like, well, let's see if maybe I can pop it open and, you know, maybe take a look inside and see if there was anything uh, worth seeing inside. Apparently, the guy told me that they actually had a lot of gaming computers on display out through their computer department but about three days ago a guy came through and took every single graphics card out of them like you can see that there's no graphics card in this one um, and also he took the SSDs out of some of them is um, out of them too like you notice how this one only has one SSD um, yeah, that's because the other one went missing. Um, but anyway, yeah, the guy went through the store and he took every single one of them. So, unfortunately, they had to either just power down the computers or they took them in the back. Uh, because these are display models that um, the manufacturer actually owns. So they can't work on them or do anything to the models. They have to just send them back to the company and I guess whatever happens whatever happens uh, I was you know well not surprising not surprised at all uh, there's just a couple of um, uh, what do you call it manufactured you know all of these computers that I looked at all of them had bad airflow all of them had i7s or i5s with horrible stock CPU coolers in them you know and they had just generic as hell motherboard chipsets in them you know you can't have an i7 and have like a 310 motherboard in it the the that motherboard is not designed to handle an i7 
but yet the manufacturers cut in corners by putting a motherboard that will work but not exactly allow you to completely you know use the full capabilities of that of that graphic of that um you know cpu and stuff um, but i was just really surprised that this best buy had all these gaming supplies in it um usually you don't see that in a brick and mortar store usually it's just a little corner in the back they'll have like a couple of keyboards one monitor and hopefully a, co a computer to show you if that um but i was really surprised to see how much stuff um that this best buy had uh, I also went to the other side of the store and looked at stuff. They had so many different things. They had all these cool like washer and dryers that that were basically all touch screen. Um, but they were asking, uh, you know, a lot of Benjamins, like a big stack of them for a washer. You would probably spend close to 10 grand on a washer and dryer. That's insane to think about. Um, this is kind of just like a shot of me just walking around. Here's this is what I was talking about. See how like it's a stack of gaming monitors. That's that's how they basically have it. Just everywhere, gaming monitors stack. Here's another stack of gaming monitors. Next to that's another stack. Next to that is another stack. Just so on and so forth. This one right here was actually a really good deal. Um, it had like a one millisecond response rate and you know, it's 14 or 144 Hertz um, But I noticed that they were all IPS panels, which I thought was kind of odd uh, You know and then of course earlier I mentioned um, about the uh, what was it the back wall? Being full of gaming computers and stuff. So we'll take a look at that Man, I really missed you guys. I hope all you guys are doing well uh, make sure to leave a like on this video. We do have a new build coming up. We do have more stuff coming out. And we have more videos coming out. Um, I just got back home today. And this is the first video that I just so happened to edit. Enable, when I came home and downloaded all of the footage that I shot, I had a hundred and something videos that I had, or a hundred and something clips that I had to string together to make videos. And that's a lot. Uh, so I basically just started at the beginning of the trip, which was like my first day I was at a Best Buy. So here we are day one and then I'm just going to go into the micro centers and then after the micro centers we'll go into the stuff that I bought and all the different things and I'll show you guys that. And then after that we'll go into the builds and so on and so forth. So it just kind of leads up until now. Um, yeah. So anyway. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to leave me a like on this. Subscribe if you're new. If you're a current subscriber, I do appreciate you. Because of you, this is why we do it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.